this sense of profound depression and confusion around 2003, 2004 that I didn't understand my country. I had no clue as to why America is the way it is, this place where I was born and grew up and had spent my whole life. And, um, and so Billy Lynn is, is um, my attempt to try to find some answers or at least the right questions to what it might be. I've never been in the military, and so I felt like to earn the right to write a book like this, I had to do all the research required to get that part of it accurate. And um, uh, so I, I read all the books I could get my hands on, talked to all the people who were willing to talk to me, watched the documentaries, read a stack of magazines probably as high as, you know, I just have files and files. Um, and so I'll just, I'm going to read a little bit, talk a little bit, read a little bit, talk a little bit, and then we'll have some questions and answers once I'm done. But um, basically what I learned about the military can be summed up in this passage. And there's a lot of foul language in this book, and so um, if it offends you, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, his chief fear up to the moment the shooting started being that of fucking up. Life in the army is miserable that way. You fuck up, they scream at you. You fuck up some more and they scream some more. But overlying all the small, petty, stupid, basically foreordained fuck ups looms the ever present prospect of the life fucking fuck up. A fuck up so profound and all encompassing as to crush all hope of personal redemption. And so the